just brought a Big Mac. Stand down. Sorry, we couldn't be sure what was on the tram. Can those things work a train's controls? Hell if I know. I'm not assuming any goddamn thing. Look, you're human and that's enough that I won't shoot. But I'd like to know who you are. Call me Shepard. I was sent to find an Asari matriarch. Benezia? Yeah, she came through here. The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out and he ain't all there anymore. The first we knew, the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. I'm packing fire and steel. They want to fight with claws and teeth? It's their funeral. You got my support. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. Benezia. Is she still over there? I don't know. I don't see what one person could do. A matriarch has the skill to keep herself alive for a long time. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. It can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, and if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. How are your people holding up? So we weren't expecting the initial wave. They made it inside. We lost some good people. Those of us left are shorthanded. We've kept order by long shifts and stems. I don't like it, but I don't see an alternative. You're certain the matriarch is still in the hot labs? She hasn't come back here. You came through Central Station, so she ain't there. Tell me about the structure of the hot labs. It's built into one of the glaciers further down the mountain. Real old, thick stable. When something goes wrong, they heat it up and sink it into the ice. Normally, the crew gets to the labs using a tram from Central Station. We've got an elevator that connects directly, but it's for emergency use only. Uh, listen. I'm not sending my people down there. It's too dangerous. You understand? Did the aliens come from inside the facility, or did they attack from outside? You want my personal opinion? Labs like that exist to do stupid crap that gets people killed. What can you tell me about the aliens? Ask Dr. Olar. He's the only one who made it out of the hot labs. He's the only Volus left in here. How are your people holding up? We weren't expecting the initial wave. Those of us left are shorthanded. We've kept order by long shifts and stems. I don't like it, but I don't see an alternative. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. Hell! Man the perimeter! Thanks for the help. Every few hours a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. We're all in the same boat. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. What do you do here? Molecular genetics. I specialize in biotic enhanced allele specific hybridization. Think you could translate that into galactic? It's a genetic thing. Forget it. You seem less upset at this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. Tell me about yourself. I am Alestia Ialis from the University of Araeus. Is there anything in particular you want to know or should I just spout random facts? No need to be so rude. You are interrupting my meditations. Precisely how rude must I be to convince you to leave? 
Do you know Matriarch Benezia? Why ask me and not your friend? Because I do not know anything about the Matriarch. Then why would I? That's all for now. Then I will return to my meditations. Science pukes. Just bug out and leave them to die. I've been caught up in events. Sympathetically. Everyone here could say the same. For now, with forced cheer, I still have a limited supply of equipment to sell. This doesn't seem like the time for commerce. With nervous amusement, I have nothing else to do. Why not continue to run my kiosk? Let's have a look. Regretfully, most of my stock has been appropriated by Captain Ventralis. say I signed a non-disclosure agreement. If we survive, I'd like to keep my job. The location is terrible, but the pay is better than any other commercial lab. You're not happy on Peak 15? The outside world doesn't exist here. Just walls of ice and rock. There's only the work, the discovery. It's easy to forget why science is guided by ethics. Maybe we're paying for that now. How are you holding up? It would be petty to complain after showering off a co-worker's brain. None of us have had enough sleep since the attack. Of course, not all of us have guns. What do you know about the hot labs? It's nothing. I didn't work there. As far as I know, Han Olar was the only survivor. Is he in the medical ward? No, he's staying in the science team's quarters. Be gentle with him. He had a trying experience. What do you do here? I'm a toxicologist. I can't talk about my work. Not that I'm doing anything since the accident. There was an accident here? I can't talk about what happened. Not here. Too public. Talk to Dr. Cohen in the medical ward. He was the project lead. There was an accident here? I can't talk about what happened. Not here. Too public. Talk to Dr. Cohen in the medical ward. He was the project lead. How are you holding up? It would be petty to complain after showering off a co-worker's brain. None of us have had enough sleep since the attack. Of course, not all of us have guns. I'll talk to you later. Remember to report any suspicious noises. Got a smoke? We're all out. What do you want? I've had a long day. Don't piss me off. Yes, I'm sorry. I haven't had much sleep lately. What happened to these people? 
They're suffering from a toxin. There was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. But you're going to, because I might be able to help. I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. You should consider doing safer experiments. All progress requires... Look, is this really the time for an ethics debate? We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. These three were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. I need full cooperation if I'm going to help. Do you want these people to live? If not, I'll walk out of here. No, wait! It's a bioweapon. Based on an exotic life form discovered on the frontier. They wanted something that could kill the creature. But there was no profit in something that kills one species on the frontier. We kept working on it and adapted it to affect more species. Thoros B is highly infectious, but can't pass from one person to another, like a bio-war attack without a pandemic spread. Do you imagine that distinction makes this ethical? Militaries, governments, they'll get this kind of weapon one way or another, and we're trying to limit the damage. I know you can't see that. You made this but can't cure it. Don't you people take notes? Our first priority was getting it working. We were close to synthesizing an antidote when Mira went down. Our notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventralis doesn't want to risk more contamination. Is he right to keep people out? No, the toxin has a brief period of viability. After that, it breaks down into simple protein chains. But he won't listen to me. I'll talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do anything, I'd appreciate it. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. Yes? How's the science team? Better than... I've been administering stims at their request. Are you the doctor here? I'm our... We had a medic, Dr. Sala, but he's... We lost Talk to him. you later. I hope you can do something. This system is online and ready to provide emergency services. Think you could run that equipment for us? Certainly, Commander. One moment, please. This system is online and ready to provide emergency services. What are you doing over here? I administrate the system. We don't need Very it. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. This system is online and ready What's to... Without my program, I'm afraid treatment is not possible. Very well, Commander. We're locking you out. What? Then I will return to my meditation. Something you need? I've heard about the problems in the quarantine lab. I'd like to recover the toxin cure. God, I wish we could help those guys. I really do, but we can't risk contamination now. If we survive, your employers will want a report from me. I wonder how much insurance they have on those scientists. All right, you want to gamble with your life, you're not under my command. I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. He'll run a full scan before he'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. Great. We'll be stuck unless he decides we're healthy. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. Good luck. I've got work to do. You and me both.
came to find out about them, didn't you? And you would be? I'm Olar. Han Olar. I need to know more about those things out there. About the Rachni? Rachni? That's preposterous. The Krogan wiped them out a thousand years ago. They found it in a derelict ship. An egg. Waiting since the last battles. They brought it here. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? If you're gonna be crazy, be the quiet kind. Crazy? I'm sane. God, am I sane. I need to know everything about the Rachni. I told you all I can. We brought the Rachni back from the dead. In retrospect, a bad decision. I heard you were at the Hot Labs. How did you make it out alive? I killed her. What? Doctors on Muir. We were going to lunch when the alarms went off. I ran into the tram and I closed the doors. She banged on the window once, then they sliced her to pieces. Her head came apart like a melon. I closed the door. I killed her. The only thing you could do was save yourself. Of course. That is perfectly true. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. Gotta keep the mood light. I mean, if you don't laugh, you'll... Yeah. You're not part of the crew. I have Ventralis's permission to go in there. Yeah, he radioed. He also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should stand watches on the barricade. Your mission ends here, Shepard. What the hell? What happened to Ventralis's man? I didn't have permission to come in. He got in my way. I was ordered to eliminate you should the opportunity arise. And here you are, trapped in this lab. Weapons free!
fair. That door's locked. How can I get in? A team lead would have access. Like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. How can I get into the maintenance area? A team lead would have access. Like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical I'll bay. I'll be leaving now. I was ambushed in the lab you sent me to. If you set me up... You were attacked? I... I, I don't know anything about that. I hate conflict. I've never even fired anyone. I have my receptionist do it. Look. The guards? They've been more on edge since you got here. I think they were expecting you. And there are more labs in the back. The guards won't even let me back there. Just people with clearance. What about the maintenance area? Do you have access to that? The maintenance area? Yes. Take my pass. But there's just snow back there. Let me see that file. An extension on Phelps' work? I thought he was on the right track. I can't thank you enough that... Oh, God, what a cliché. You saved their lives, do you know that? And I almost lost mine. Thanks is all I get. We need to be at peak to fight those aliens. Give us some Medigel. Of course. Here. You didn't get these from me. Ventrolis wanted them saved for his people. I need to administer this. Thanks again. I like how I got a pair of guns for doing a renegade thing. What's on your mind? I'm looking for an Asari. Dr. Ialysis. Well, she was right over there. There's also our guest, Lady Benezia, Captain Ventralis. I'll talk daughter. to you later. Remember to report any suspicious noises. Something you need? I was attacked by the Asari who was in here. She killed your guard. Dr. Ayalis? But she seemed like the most stable one here. She was a commando in Benezia's service. A squad of Geth were with her. Geth? I didn't know. 
God's honest truth, I thought she was just another egghead. Son of a bitch. How are your people holding up? We weren't expecting the initial wave. Those of us left are shorthanded. We've kept order by long sh You and me both. Are you here to secure the situation? If by secure you mean shoot every monster I see, sure. I am certain you are having strong feelings. But what has happened here, it is our fault. You understand? Wait. Is there an Asari matriarch here? Asari? I have not seen one. She is safe then, at Rift Station. Uh, this is not important. You must be listening. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. They should have destroyed it. Why hatch it? Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni, mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. This is fascinating, but we don't have time to chat. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. I'm not familiar with the Purge system. It creates bursts of Neutron radiation kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. I don't have time for this. If the Matriarch isn't here, we're leaving. Uh, I do not want so much to be here myself. But the Mira system, she will not let you leave. Is failsafe, you understand? You leave without arranging to eliminate Rachni, Maybe they spread. Connecting. I have full access to... I need information. The Neutron Purge is a fail-safe system installed within the isolation tube area. What exactly does the this purge we would be wise to avoid... It's it. always a good idea to RTFM, ma'am. To what? Are there any survivors in here? Yaroslav Tartakovsky, Director of Operations, is on the operations deck. There are no other living crew members within the lab structure. Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Uh, sick Semper Turin. <coughs> that is not the correct code. Please request... Who would have those codes? Director of Operations, Yaroslav Tartakovsky, or any executive officer of Binary Helix. We're moving on. Logging you out, Commander. I am feeling not so well. How do we set off the purge? Armin controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will give Kimera the start.
Online. How can I help you? Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Code input. 875-020-079. Code Omega. Local execution. Verify. Code Omega execution in 120 seconds. <laughs> Sorry about this, Shepard. We've got orders from Benezia. Open fire!
privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. I have no idea what you're talking about, and I don't care. Indeed. What have you told him about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. There's obviously no peaceful way to settle this. Indeed. Everything is clear. 
I expected better from the Sari commandos. I will not betray him. You will. You... You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. We met Shiala on Pharos. She told us about Sovereign's indoctrination. It is a terror to be trapped in your mind. To beat upon the glass as your hands torture and murder. I was powerless. Nothing but a tool for Saren. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. How does something that big go missing? 4,000 years ago, a star nearby went supernova. The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar space, particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. Tell me where the Mewgate is before I lose my temper. Of course, Commander. God damn it. I transcribed the data to an OSD. God. Take it, please. Knowing the Relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You should... You should... Oh, you should... Mother, I... Don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. Who am I speaking to here? We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children. You thought silence. We are Rachni. I didn't come here to talk to bugs. You are not in harmony with those who hoped to control us. What will you sing? 
Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? Commander, those tanks on her enclosure, they're acid. Strong enough to dissolve any living creature. They must have installed them for a reason. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us. Or return our people to the silence of memory. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg, hearing Mother cry in our dreams. A tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place, the last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No, we... I do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. 
Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the commander resign when I wasn't looking? I won't be a puppet for the Asari. I give the orders around here. Understood? Forgive me, Commander. I was only trying to help. This is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Brew, dismissed. Novaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? And then released the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? Three? No. Four. This is no joke, Commander. The Rachni were one of the greatest threats the galaxy ever faced. All I care about is stopping Sarah. The Rachni don't matter. The mission must always come first. Just be aware that your actions can have far-reaching consequences. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander.